Hello everyone, hope you are having great holidays. In this video, I will be talking about some of the key web integration technologies for SAP, their HTTP and REST. Let's get started. Let's take an example. So we have a Java application that is running externally and it's processing some invoice data. And this application wants to load final invoices to SAP. For this, Java application can use HTTP as a protocol to load the data into SAP. Another example is, in SAP, we have some jobs running and SAP wants to send this job information to an external system. For this, SAP can use HTTP to send the data out to an external system. To support HTTP and REST technologies, SAP has provided a standard framework called ICF, stands for Internet Communication Framework. This ICF supports HTTP, HTTPS and SMTP protocols. ICF is a part of the ABAP application server and ICF provides both server and client functionalities. Let's quickly look into the server-side architecture of ICF. As you can see in the diagram, when a Java application or a web application makes a request, it is the Internet Communication Manager that takes the request and forwards the request to a task handler. From task handler, it goes to ICF controller and then it goes to the ICF manager. As you can see, it has different steps how the message is being forwarded finally to the ABAP application. Let's look at the client side architecture of ICF. In an outbound scenario, the ABAP application is trying to communicate with a Java application. So in this case, ABAP application makes a request to ICF. From there, it goes to task handler, then ICM. And finally, the Internet Communication Manager forwards the request to the external application. In ICM, Internet Communication Manager, we have a built-in cache mechanism. This is a very powerful mechanism when you're trying to build a web application. And with this caching, you can actually cache different HTTPS objects when you are working with ICM, there are some key transactions that you need to remember. They are SMICM, SMICM SOS, SSEF, SSEF Recorder, SM59, mainly for outbound integration. And if you want to have performance monitoring, you need to use SE30. And you can also use START for all the statistical information for RFC and ICF. Let's now check some details about REST, representational state transfer. REST is an architecture design. We use RESTful services when we want to develop stateless services, which means the server doesn't maintain any state. Instead, it's the client responsibility to keep track of requests and state management. When you use REST, you can use built-in web caching mechanism. REST-based communication usually takes less bandwidth compared to other integration techniques. REST supports multiple text formats such as XML, JSON, plain text, and HTML. When a client makes a REST call, it can use operations like GET, DELETE, POST, and PUT. If you plan to use REST, here is an implementation tip. When you want to perform a change operation such as PUT, POST, and DELETE on an ABAP server, the client has to provide CSRF, Cross-Site Request Forgery Token. So, First, get a token from ABAP server by making a non-changing call, get head options, and use the CSRF token in the header for the subsequent request to make a change operation on ABAP server. Resto supports URIs. URIs are a potent mechanism for retrieving data. The URI path consists of a base path defined in ICF and a resource path used by REST application to identify the requested resource. We can change the results of the response with a combination of resource path and parameters. For example, both HTTP and REST works in synchronous mode. Let's do a quick recap quiz. Which protocols are supported by Internet Communication Framework? What are the main T codes to work with ICF? Let me know your answers and feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching.